Hello. 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 Yeah. Welcome back. Hello. Back Hi. to the weekly appointment. The like last week, at the end of every week, we do a um, reflection. This is a moment where we are going to go through the activities that we did all during this week, and we're going to reflect on the impact that they had on ourselves. This is also a way to support you to take these uh, weekly appointments to reflect on the learning process. It was a really interesting week, I admit. I did uh, the webinar lesson, I don't know what it's called, and I was stressed about it, but it's done, and I feel happy. So this week, the topic, it was time. Big topic. Last week we talked about space, this week about time. Well, the mission in the beginning was really interesting. Actually, for me, it started uh, uh, to, um, I start to work with one hour of time being without clock. And then I spend a whole morning without clock. And then I start to spend the all mornings of the whole week without checking the time. I was putting an alarm on when to eat around 1.30. But before that, from the when I wake up till the alarm, I was not checking the time. It was really, really liberating. It was really interesting. Not worrying about uh, what is the time, but I realized that uh, I'm trapped from my own perception of getting things done in time and scheduling and was a nice realization. This is also connect with um, the activity that I delivered. The I did twice this week, the, um, especially the future part to look what is my vision. I drew my past and I recognize that I still difficult to accept something still wish to change something back, but it's not possible. And I did twice the one about the vision of the future. And I I get uh, liberation feelings. And uh, that is connect with the topic of time. This was, I'm gonna be 30 years old soon. And I don't know why I feel this uh, uh, step as a, I don't know, a milestone. And this is giving me pressure, like, okay, you are 30, uh, you're not doing yet uh, what is supposed to be from the society and what to do in the future, what to do in the past and change the house. And the work is uh, based on, uh, my work is based on self-discipline. So all, all the time I feel this hamster in, inside the wheel running behind my time. And this was connect because I didn't have a clear vision, I believe. So writing down a vision, writing down, uh, um, I have two parallel. One is peace and one is also enjoyment. So having an idea, okay, I want to be in peace, but also I want to enjoy, was giving me during the week and not having in the morning the time a really nice uh, reflection feeling of reflecting. And uh, I also discover drawing the, how it's called, the, the drawing things, the battery, that what is taking out my energy, I was, this was reflecting, is about thinking about the time, is taking me out energy. When I don't think about the time, I have more energy than when I focus on how much time is left. So the whole week was a really interesting uh, reflection week for me. Then I pass now the word to Ella, and she is our most active participant of the week. She's actually she's from the beginning that she's following us a lot and commenting and sharing uh, thoughts and everything. So thank you very much for joining us today, and I pass you the words to reflect on the, the topic of the week. Yeah, thank you. Uh, well, I've been active because. Uh, I uh, really appreciate this kind of support. And uh, uh, by being active, I, I felt it helped me also like start to manage myself better in this, uh, this crisis to say. And um, yeah, so um, 
I'm very happy for what you're doing. It's uh, amazing. And I hope more and more people will get to see what's happening in here because it's really precious. Uh, about uh, time, the topic of the week. Um, yes, starting last at the end of last week, I um, my uh, schedule uh, started to change. Um, not sleeping too much at night, uh, sleeping during the day. It's starting to be a bit uh, chaotic. And um, at first, um, I was a bit, um, I had this kind of discomfort of how to handle uh, that I don't sleep when I should, I don't do what I should. But uh, during uh, this process, I, um, I realized that I, I have to call myself. And um, starting from uh, accepting the situation and in which I am and uh, observing myself more, I started to enjoy this time and to let it flow and during this time of letting it flow to work on the productivity of it and what do i do with it and uh, the exercises uh, this week the one with um, checking um, when one hour passed like you do an activity you don't look at the clock and then uh, when you feel like it's about an hour you check uh, to see how much time it passed. Um, I applied it for different activities I did, and I think it helped me uh, regain uh, some balance in my daily, uh, daily activities. Um, as now, I feel much more balanced. I have much more control over uh, my time and my emotional uh perspective about time uh, as you said in the in the webinar with the this is the idea how you deal with the emotions you have regarding time because that's actually the the part and when you start to to deal with this emotional then you start to re regain um the the control over over how you live and um how you plan yourself to, to, to live because uh, um, on this I also had a reflection that I realized right now we are forced to stay in our comfort zones in our houses but uh, psychologically we are like pulled out taken out we're, we're not living what we are we, we were living uh, a few weeks months ago and this is the the shift and the contrast, the imbalance. What do I do now? So uh, this part with time management and emotional time management that you that you uh, discussed this week, um, yeah, it uh, it helped me regain my my uh, my trust in uh, my capacities of uh, how do I handle the time and what do I do with it and where do I place myself in this time and enjoy much more even though these times that they might be hard for some of the people yeah um don't know what else to say <laughs> but a big thank you and uh, yeah big supporting for this these learning activities as I feel it on myself, they are working well. <laughs> Thank, you very much. Thank you very much, Ella, for your words and for uh, being so active. It's give, for me personally, it's a big motivation to keep uh, thinking about activities because uh, receiving comments and feedback, it's really important for us. And to close this uh, weekly reflection, I pass now the word to Georgia, that she's going to be the one taking care about the topics next week. So you, word to you. Yes, hello everybody, here I am. 
maybe uh, you already saw my face in a previous uh, little live with Francesca where, while we presented the questionnaire. And we will meet again next uh, week to continue this beautiful uh, path in this quarantine. So first of all, I really want to thank to, to say thank you to Fabri because this topic of time, which was uh, an idea of him, for me personally arrived in a very, very perfect moment of a process. And this process started a few days ago, like 10, 15 days ago, like two weeks ago, because now we are like in the third, fourth week of quarantine lockdown here in Italy. So the first two weeks were like pretty much randomly flowing my days. I did not have a routine because it was a moment for me of freedom after the previous weeks, which were full, full intense of exam sessions. So in, in the first moment of the quarantine, I really felt like the need of breathe and liberate all kind of schedule and just relax. And after a, a few, the first two weeks, uh, it started to, to, I started to feel within the need to uh, refine a new balance. Also because being here in the home with no, nobody uh, telling me what to do, when to do it, uh, I took it like a personal challenge to find a healthy balance between the works, the duties that I have to do, the pleasure, the relaxing moment. So it was not so immediate and so quick, the process, because uh, everything you have to like to try and to experiment how it works with uh, your habits, with your mental patterns, because I have the opportunity to recognize into my mind some patterns of um, uh, organizing and scheduling like, oh no, in the morning you should definitely do this, this and this in order for your day to be fully satisfying. So I decided to break these mental uh, barriers, let's say, and to try to uh, be aware of everything that I would and would not like to do. And for what I would not like to do, I mean, uh, think that I have to, but a part of me is trying to, um, let's say, hide it or to ignore it. Like for example, for example, uni works and this kind of things. So I also take it like a, a challenge for my self-discipline, but in order to be a self-discipline based on love and on um, the balance, a health balance, and not on, oh my God, I have to do it, anxiety, stress. I want to create a healthy, uh, and her harmonic uh, environment into my mind. So I tried also the exercise of uh, hiding the clock and I did it in two occasions of my days. So the first one was while I was uh, starting again to uh, work on the laptop on some uh, university essay that I have to, to prepare. And there it was like, it was very slow because it was like just 45 or 50 minutes passed and not even one hour complete when I checked because uh, I, I was like, uh, I wanted to finish it as soon as possible. And the other point, it was like um, I was practicing uh, yoga, which I love. So I don't usually watch the time, especially now that I have more free time. I like to enjoy it as much as I, I feel it on my body. And then I, I watched the, the hour and uh, I was supposing that I have passed one hour of time, but actually it was two hour and a half. <laughs> so very, very much more. So this is, yeah, like a testimonial of uh, the relativity of the time. And uh, I also did and enjoyed the reflection about the webinar, the activity that you, that you inspire us uh, to do. And um, it was very, very beautiful because actually I did a kind of exercise like that, which is called the vision dream a lot, lot let's say five years ago. So uh, I was finishing my high school and I was in a period of the life in which a lot of things and a lot of factors change. Like uh, I started, I decided to complete to continue the studies um, with the university and I thought about uh, a lot about it and uh, it was a moment that for me in which I started to question a lot myself about uh, what 
I would like to do, what I would like to uh, bring my intention, my study, or what I would like the job of my future to be like, what is the contribution I would like to do. So I kind of visioned all the things from that point in five years, which pretty much are this year. So like three weeks ago, it was my birthday. And I had this emotion, like thinking about five years ago. And now with this exercise, I have rethink, rethought about it. And it was really surprisingly because it really works. I mean, like giving yourself in little intentions step by step, like in five years, long term, and then also shorter terms in order to, in the end, to accomplish something that you really feel that you wish to in order for your growth, or for develop uh, what uh, you would like to be part of yourself. So um, it was uh, this was a week in which a, a kind of conclusion arrived, like the randomness uh, day routines of uh, the past weeks from the quarantine. And also a new start has begun because uh, I started to refine a good balance in the day, dividing the tasks, uh, dividing uh, the, the appointments, the meetings, the duties, so I feel very grateful of it. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Thank you very much for sharing. Thank you for giving us these ideas. <laughs> so thank you very much, both of you, for sharing. Thank you for who is watching. And mm -hmm. we keep a perfect time. So we were supposed to stay in 15 minutes. We are 16. <laughs> <laughs> And see you next week with uh, yeah. the schedule on Monday at 12 the mission. Then we're going to have Joe with the webinar lesson. Uh, I don't know who yet. Surprise on Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> and then let's see also what, Hel what Ella will bring here. And <laughs> we will again close the week on Friday with the reflection. Thank you very much. Keep up. <laughs> To all of you who are watching, participate in this community, I really wish and really thankful what Ella said about uh, to make this community grow, to keep to work, to bring each week a new topic. We work on a weekly basis, so whatever you have in mind uh, as a suggestion, feel free to contact us. I want also, I forgot to say, I want to thank Nadia a lot yes. for the workshop it was really nice also with the, all the technical connection issues with uh, this overload on, um, mm -hmm. online things but uh, it was really interesting and also for the reflection last week and that's it thank you very much bye 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 see you <laughs>